Affinity Designer Beginners Tutorials Lesson 4 Introduction to the Artistic Text Tool How to 1. Use the pen tool to create a curvy shape 2. Look for the T curve symbol which appears when curves hovers over the curved shape 3. Start typing in your text 4. Adjusting with the green and red triangles and 5. Exporting the SVG and using it on Doodly Hello, this is Tony, Tony's Music and Administrator, Doodly and Tony PMGs. I'm on Affinity Designer Beginners Tutorial Lesson 4 and I've just opened an A4 landscape sheet and I've gone over to the toolbars and clicked on the pen tool and with that pen tool I'm going to click on the smart mode which is already clicked on there and what I need to do is put a dot there and go up here, put a dot go over here, put another dot over here put another dot and then we got a bit of a curve right next what we're going to do is go to the artistic tool which is over in the toolbars at the bottom there you've got artistic tool text tool and frame text tool we want the artistic text tool what I'm going to do is as you can see my cursor has gone over the line and when it goes out of the line you get, you get that little sign there saying T with the like a wavy line on it, if you click on that then if I'd have clicked it this side it would have gone underneath but it's not gone on top because I clicked it on top right now what you can do is you can change the font size to make it bigger as well so we'll go about there say and then what I want to do is put some text in so let's do that There you go, that's uh, something to put anyway. Let's do that. Okay, as you can see, I'm moving the green triangle there to make it go over that way a little bit. And when it touches the red triangle, it'll make something funny happen. Did you see that? Everything's going on the other side, yeah? You can take bring it back that way as well. So the green's where it starts, the red is where it finishes or t turns it over to the other side of the line, right? It's a bit awkward sometimes if you've got a different shape, but this one is that's how it works with this one, right? So we'll just do that for now. Like right, uh, right, so you have to get used to that. It's a bit awkward at times. I might just put a space in there in between those two just to give it a bit more like that right so you can see it better right now I've done that what I'm going to do I'm going to click the move tool and I'm going to select all and I'm going to copy and paste and I'm going to move the paste down and then I'm going to paste again and move that down as well and with this one I'm going to reselect it again and I'm going to just change the stroke on that one to that one and take it to one on there Then I'm going to properties and I usually click on this and change that to 10 but if there's nothing on here and there's no stroke showing on there then you have to use the brush width here and you change that to about about 10 if you can or 9.9 .9, it's usually I'll get like that right that will give you the path for when you use it on doodly right now the next one we're going to change the color of that one and make it a light color like this color here like pinkish color and put that one slightly over but not 100% over like that so it gives it a feel that it's got like a shadow behind it right then we get the next one we change it to another color like blue for example and that one might be beyond at the moment you can put it at the front if you want to look I will go now in a minute I'll move to front and then do that and then move that one slightly lower still uh -uh. yeah so that's like this is in front of a shadow 
and it's got a highlight on it as well yeah so that looks pretty cool that's what I've done with it so if you like that we're gonna just save that in a moment I just need to select all first so it selects it all as one image right but you won't, you won't flatten because I'm going to save it as an SVG anyway so you export it and area is not old document you want it as selection only export and then you save it as hobby well I'm going to save that one as hobby anyway right I've already got one so it's just going to uh, replace it so that's that one right now I've done that what we're going to do is we're going to go on to uh, doodly and I'll show you how how that works with it uh, let's just um, delete that first right I'm just going to make a new video here whiteboard 1080p create it and then I'm going to props add browse for the file which is hobby should be there that's it right and as you click on it it'll come up there just continue and just give it time to come up then you can drag it to make it bigger if you want to so at the moment it's very small but it'll be pretty good even when it's big right then you can click on this pencil and load the SVG path and click OK and there you go that should do it all right I'll just save and, save and return and um, let's preview that and as you can see it's doing it pretty quick what you can do is slow it down by changing the duration to about six or so seconds let's try that again and see what you think of that there you go that's going pretty good right so that's that one so I've showed you how that one works right next one we're going to go back onto affinity designer I'm just going to get rid of that so to get rid of that I'll just go delete and that's all gone so next what we're going to do is I'm going to get the heart tool like that I bring it down a little bit because that's a bit too big um, then I'm going to go to the artistic text tool as well do the same again we'll click on this side try and get it on this side then I want to put uh, a nice romantic piece on like I Did you see how that changed then? Well, that's reached that end there, that's why. So, what I need to do to move that and that one, I think. I don't know which one it is, that one, yeah. So I want to do that. Right, so I moved it so that it would uh, make it a bit closer there. That's it. Right, so I just added three uh, spaces there because that was a bit too close together. Right, so now we've done that. What we're going to do next is select all and then just copy it. Cop oh that don't work right select all copy then paste once then we're going to do that and move no oh, it ain't done it start again sorry select all copy and then paste right now the one we've 
just copy down we're going to pull to one side the one that's say yeah we're going to make sure we've got it all we're going to check the stroke make sure it's the right stroke that we're on we're going to put it one on there always put it one on there or do because I'm not always 100% sure it's going to work the other way so and it, as you can see again it's still nothing on there so I would do it nine on there as well I do it using the but, uh, brush width improving the brush width to 9.9 .9, like that then we can get the heart shape back on like that so the one behind was the actual path right the one in front is the actual lettering which is going to have a style on which i'm going to put on now and there's the style right so that looks pretty well doesn't it right so what we're going to do is select all let's move it in the middle right that looks pretty good pretty good i like that right so what we're going to do now with that we're going to select it all again and we're going to export it as an SVG selection only and export as let's try and find the one where it says that I think I've got it somewhere already I'm going to use that Valentine message right save it as that so replace that and now we're going to go and have a look at that on doodly so i will see how that works hopefully it'll be all right as well right so we've still got that one on what i'm going to do is start a new scene off with that on and i'm going to click on browse for the file i'll try and find it there it is valentine message and there it is coming up right I'll have to adjust the size of it in a minute probably it hasn't come up yet ah it's coming up that's it yeah we've got to adjust the size because it was very small wasn't it well there you go it looks brilliant anyway I think anyway right so now we've done that I'm just going to load the path it should automatically load no problem so we've saved that all I need to do is change the duration to around 6 and we've done that and you can add your own music on and stuff like that to it if you want to what we're going to do is I'm just going to preview the whole lot so you can see both of the um, two things that I've done for this tutorial let's have a look Right, my hobby is my life and then you got I love you with all my heart and soul right that'd be a nice one for Valentine's Day wouldn't it okay it looks pretty good and it's in a heart shape so that's great right so I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I hope it's useful to you uh, if you have any questions you can always try asking me on doodly internally PNGs um i will try and answer you as soon as i find your message if i if you put it to me tony smith all right so um if you have uh, any questions I, I would be happy to answer them if you've got any comments on my video please uh, let me know what you think of it i really do appreciate any comeback from anybody any any kind of um, ideas what you might think might help me better or whatever or if you've got any suggestions on new tutorials, I will definitely take them into consideration. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Stay safe and look after yourselves. Thank you. Bye-bye.